Let's go. We have made it to Nejiang, so it's time to have some of Nejiang's famous beef noodles. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's have some noodles. So we were supposed to sit right there, but then the bus gave our table to that kid right back there studying. And we're going to sit here with some people we don't know. <laughs> oh no, it's the Chengguan. The Chengguan is coming. Oh. What the heck? I just noticed they put their prices on the wall. They like rode on the wall with wicked crayon. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So here's the reason we are here. A Ford Escort. Basically, getting a family car. Now, it's not mine. It's not mine. It's not my wife's. Uh, but hey, maybe every now and then, when we come down to Longchang uh, to visit our family, we could use it. Uh, you know, once I get my driver's license in China, I can drive it around. Cool. It's actually pretty easy to get a driver's license here in China if you have a valid license in the USA. I think it's just like you do an eye exam and then you do like a theoretical test. And that's it, you can get your license. So it's pretty simple. But uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. Uh, I'm bored now. Sure, they've even got their own cups. Fancy. Just looking around now. Oh, that's awesome. They have a kid area. All right. Catering to kids. Well, that's just about the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> The most beautiful, the most beautiful of struggle youth. So close, so close. Sometimes you will notice that the restaurant will give you chopsticks and they're not really long enough, they're not really good enough to use. And then you might see another package with it. There's the rest of your chopsticks right there. It's actually kind of ingenious, although I really don't like disposable chopsticks. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. Like, there's pops in the background there. See, so, yeah, you just uh, do that. Just insert chopsticks here. And there you go. Oh, that hot style frog. Look at that. Mm. How do you guys do with spicy food? Welcome to the square within Lianfeng Park in Longchang. I think this is the biggest square in Longchang. I could be wrong, but if I am wrong, you know what? That actually happens a lot. I'm probably wrong more often than I'm right. Oh well. Yeah, there it is. Dragon and Phoenix Square. And it's actually got English on it. It's pretty cool. Or well, we stay pretty close to here when we're in Longchang. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you. Now this place looks freaking empty and desolate and lonely right now. But you wait. You wait until nighttime. This place will be freaking packed with dancing aunties, people playing, you know, badminton and all kinds of other stuff. It'll be packed and noisy and all kinds of stuff. To be honest, I'm kind of bummed. It's not nearly as packed as I thought it would be. Usually there's a whole crowd of them right here around the steps, but not now. now. There may not be a lot of people, but I bet you can't hear me very well, can you? Yeah, that's your point. Everyone hates these Everyone hates these shit. Everyone hates them. Everyone hates them. Except for them. Probably even some of them hate them. And this is the ongoing debate in China because this is awful. But like in public spaces, right? They're allowed to use it technically because there are so many people trying to play with their kids and tai chi, play badminton and stuff. But they ruin it. It's awful. And like I said, nobody likes them. And in the
small way, I think that's kind of reflective of that generation here in China. It's like, I don't give a fuck about other people. As long as I get to have my fun, that's enough. You know, what other people, ah, forget about it. Now we are just at the shop, getting some yogurt and a giant bottle of water and uh, go to head in for the night. So thank you all for watching. See you all tomorrow.